issue. We still have several months of flu season left, but already the CDC reports there have been twice as many pediatric flu deaths compared to this time last year. News Channel 5 Cena Sleem tells us why. I know it. This is the pits. Pediatrician Dr. Mary Cowan is keeping busy. It's going to be five to seven days of complete misery. Tylenol for a fever, push the popsicles and the fluids. There has been a shift in the predominant strain, which is usually influenza A. Can you open your mouth for me? That's my girl. We started seeing kids in late September, early October, and it has been quite prevalent. This year, it's influenza B, and influenza B tends to affect children more. A total of 32 influenza-associated pediatric deaths have been uh, occurring during the 2019-2020 flu season thus far reported to the CDC. Dr. Cowan says if your child hasn't gotten the flu shot yet, get it now. And they tell you where the illness is the worst. Even if it isn't a perfect match, it's still better than not getting vaccinated at all. I liken it to wearing a seatbelt. Wearing a seatbelt does not guarantee you that you are not going to be in a car crash, but if you are, you're much less likely to be terribly hurt or end up in the hospital. Also, parents do your part to prevent the flu from spreading. If your little one has flu like symptoms, keep them away from other children. And if your first child has the flu, if you have a great aunt or a grandma who can keep your other two to avoid exposure, that's awesome. If you can't, do your best to wash your hands, keep the sick one with the fever as apart as you can. The flu is very contagious. Do not send your kid back to school unless they have been fever free for at least 24 hours. Even if their child does have the flu with their vaccine, they're likely to be ill only three or four days as opposed to three or four weeks. Cena Sleem, News Channel 5. At least two children in Tennessee have died from the flu and there have been eight deaths in Kentucky.